There are multiple ways Laravel can be set up and configured locally for development. Some are easy, some are hard, and some are hard. Arguably, probably the easiest way to get Laravel installed is to use a tool called Laravel Herd, which is a native development environment that does not use Docker. It's kind of like a one-click solution where you click a button and your Laravel development is up and running. Alternatively, you can use a tool called Laravel Sale, which uses Docker to set up the Laravel development environment. It was designed to provide an easy starting point for building Laravel applications using Docker. Now, if you don't know what Docker is, it's a tool that allows you to run applications and services in isolated containers. I covered Docker briefly in my PHP series, so you can check that out as a refresher if you want to know more about it. But basically, Docker just allows us to package an application uh, along with all of its dependencies into a container that makes it easier to develop, ship, and run it consistently across different environments. Now, which development environment you choose and go with is entirely up to you. Maybe try both Sail and Herd and see what suits your needs more. There are plenty of other ways as well that you can install Laravel on your local. You don't have to stick with Herd or Sail. You can just go with other tools like Laragon or Xamp and so on. There are of course pros and cons to each and which one to use really depends on your specific needs and goals. So feel free to check the documentation and pick the method that you're most comfortable with. In this course we will be using Laravel Sail and Docker. So let's open the documentation and follow the steps to install. So we'll go to documentation here, then we'll scroll down a little bit. This section here guides you how to install Laravel using Composer if you have PHP and Composer already installed. But we're going to skip this and scroll to the Sale for Windows section since I'm on Windows. Now before you create your Laravel application using Sale, you need to make sure that you have the Docker desktop as well as the WSL2 installed and enabled. Then we can open up the terminal and launch the session for WSL2 Linux operating system because that is where we want our source code to go to. And that's very important because otherwise if you install Laravel outside of the WSL2 while using Docker and Sail, you may experience some issues and slow loading pages. So let's copy and paste this curl command uh, into our terminal. And this command will essentially pull in Laravel and install within this example-app directory. We can change that and replace this with something like learn Laravel the right way, hit enter. And this is going to take a few minutes to pull in all the dependencies and install them and then start the containers. In this process, at some point, it might ask you for sudo passwords to finalize the installation. So I'm going to enter my password and I entered it wrong. Let me try that again. And that worked. And as you can see, uh, it says that the Laravel has been installed in this directory. And then we can run this command after we cd into that directory. So if we do ls, we can see that we have this directory right here, which contains the Laravel source code. So let's cd into that project. And then we'll do vendor bin sale up. And this command pretty much is the same thing as docker compose up because remember sale is the tool that we are using and then it essentially uses a docker and docker compose behind the scenes. So if we run vendor bin sale up, it's essentially running docker compose up behind the scenes. So we'll do sale up dash D to run it in the background. And as you can see, the containers have been started. Now let's open our project in the code editor and you can use any code editor that you're most comfortable with. I personally use PHPStorm, which is a paid IDE, but you can use any other code editor like VS Code if you want to. So let's start the PHPStorm. We'll click open here to open our project. Now our source code, remember, belongs in WSO2 Linux distribution and we're going to open the project from there. Uh, remember I mentioned that this is very important because typically you would put your source code somewhere like on the D drive or the C drive, and then you would open the source code from there and edit your code. 
when you're using sale and docker if you do that it's going to cause some delays and your pages might start loading slow and your commands might run slow and you might encounter some other issues so that's why we pulled laravel and installed within the linux distribution and that is within this wsl localhost ubuntu so if we open that we can then open home and under the username we can see all the projects in here so we have expanis which is for the php series and then i have some other projects and we have the learn laravel the right way right here so let's open that and this basically is what the laravel framework looks like when it's installed now in here we also see docker compose.yml we see that it's already pre-configured with everything needed to run this laravel application so when we run sail up these are the containers that start running Please note that Laravel Cell uses PHP's built-in server, so it does not use Nginx and PHP FPM, which you might be familiar with from PHP series if you watch that. That's why you don't see those containers in here, so you're not going to see the Nginx and FPM containers and configuration in here. For now, we don't need Nginx and FPM, but if we do need it later in the course, we're going to add that in. Let's now open the browser and visit localhost to make sure that our application is indeed running. Let's type in localhost, hit enter, and sure enough, we see the Laravel's default welcome page. Great, so that means that our Laravel application is up and running and we are ready to rock and roll. Now there is one thing I want to mention in case you encounter this error. There is a chance that you might see an error like this where it states that sessions table doesn't exist. There can be different reasons for this. Uh, the main reason is that the migrations didn't run. To run migrations, the command is vendor bin sale artisan migrate. And this is going to migrate your database and create all the necessary tables. As you can see, once I hit enter, there is nothing to migrate because for me, it already ran. But if it didn't for your case, then you just run this command, refresh the page, and that error should be gone. Alright, so this is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Until next time, happy coding.